Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a little bit of a challenge. And unless you've been living under a stone this week in crafting world, you probably know what it's going to be. It's the Crazy Craft Challenge that's run by Pam at the Paper Outpost and Louise Heinzel. I hope I've said that right. I will link them both down below. Uh, there is a hashtag and the hashtag is hashtag Crazy Craft Challenge. Uh, now, this first week, it was to make five clusters blindfolded, yeah? Which at first I thought that's just a stupid, crazy idea. I managed to cut myself when I can see, so blindfolded I've no chance. But I've managed to gather a few things together and I'm going to do it without any scissors. I can't promise I won't staple my finger uh, or punch. I'm going to use a paper punch. That's, yeah... I can't get my finger in, so I think I should be quite safe blindfolded with that, but you never know, do you? Uh, so I've got two baskets of paper here. I've just grabbed out of my existing scraps some single-sided ones, so I want to try and keep them right way up. There's a fair chance I'll forget which basket's which, and I can't label them because I can't see it. These are all double-sided, so it doesn't matter which way, in, which way these end up. I've got music paper, book pages, ledger paper... I have been a bit of a chicken and kept it all on a bit of a neutral uh, <laughs> colour scheme. But like I say, I'm a chicken. It would freak me out if it didn't match. Uh, I've got these. These are little uh, doilies. Uh, now normally I'd use a doily and a butterfly. I'd want them lined up perfectly. But I've no idea how these are going to come out. So let's see if I like them. I've also grabbed a roll of tickets. These are my bus tickets. This is a roll I'm nearly at the end of. Uh, if I do get them back to front, it doesn't really matter because, look, we've got conduct ramp back and numbers on front. I'm using these pieces of self-adhesive craft paper for my bases. And, yeah, I think I need to stop waffling, get my blindfold on and crack on. I'm very worried I'm going to lose my butterflies. If you do want any butterflies, this is a new digital on my Buy Me A Coffee site. No requirement to buy me a coffee, although it's always appreciated. You can download it for free. So, let's crack on. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Right, I've got this. It's my daughter's sleep mask. Ow, I've just got Velcro stuck in my hair. And you can't see a thing. You just can't see a thing. It's padded around your nose. It's quite scary, actually. I just tried it on and I was like, ooh, I don't like it. It's dark. But it's going to be dark, isn't it? I do come out with some daft things. Oh, I've got Velcro stuck in my hair again. So I do apologise for getting my hair in these clusters. Right, let's crack on. So I'm going to do mine as well. No glue. I can't be doing mess with a blindfold on. No glue, so I'm going to try and staple them. So... I've taped this to table so I can feel when I'm in shot and I have got five bases here so that's one so I'll just move my baskets a bit nearer so I'm just going to take a few pieces from each and just start ripping myself some bits of paper and place that on top of my cluster I'm doing them a la Pam style she did hers in a hand. I did watch Amy at Crafty Cat who had hers glued down. But I think I'm going to go a la Pam style. So we've got three pieces there. I'm going to go for another bit. Let's dig to the bottom, see what we've got. I daren't put this down because I'm going to lose it. Am I in shot? Yeah, I must be because I'm above my piece of paper. I have got... Uh, child supervision i often say i need adult supervision to craft but that feels big but I'm not, what, did i put my basket in another place i see i'm putting things all over the desk already so i like the feel of that so now i'm going to find i found a doily there we go oh i wanted to put a paper ticket on first didn't i oh i've lost them already put that doily down <laughs> I've no idea where them paper tickets are. Am I allowed to ask Rachel to tell me if I'm hot or cold? Rachel, tell me if I'm warm or cold looking for my roll of green tickets. Yes, yeah, so we're having a game of warmer or hot or cold. 
Am I getting warmer? No. No. Am I now? No. Am I getting colder? Yeah. You need to say warmer or colder as I move. Colder. Colder. So this way? Yeah. Am I getting warmer? Yeah. Am I nearly there? Yeah. Oh, I've got them. That were mad. So, yeah, I want to pull one or a few off here. I'm just going to rip it. This, I'm going to put my tickets back in that tub. This is a good exercise in teaching me to be tidy. I'm now going to pop that on. And then I'm going to grab a butterfly. I was careful to leave all my butterflies face up. I hope they're staying face up. Now, here comes the... Oh, I've not punched a ticket. Oh, I'll do that next one. I'm now going to try and staple all these together and hit the butterfly and everything else. That's it, we're done. That's one cluster. I, I want to take my blindfold off now and have a look at it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that over to that side. I don't know if that's still in shot. I know this area is. Right, let's make another. I'm going to rip some bits of a pick a base up this time. So let's have that one. Let's delve. I know this is a book page because it's the shape of a book page. And they're only things I didn't rip. Let's have a couple of bits out of this box. I don't know if you can even see it box. So I'm just going to shuffle them like, there you go, like a deck of cards. I've no idea what's on top. I don't know if I've even picked the same paper up this time. Yeah, but yeah, if, if you, like I say, if you watch me, You'll see that I was wearing a plaster last week because I'd cut my finger with scissors. And like I could see. There's no excuse for cutting your finger with scissors when you can see, is there? So, sorry. Crazy craft challenge. Right, I'm going to risk putting that cluster down. Because now I'm going to punch. I've got my paper punch. I did get some big pieces of scrapbook paper out to use my paper punch on. I hope I've not wafted my cluster away so I can feel that I've punched that, put that there, put that on top of it, right, find your clue, is that it? Oh, I don't know if I've still got my base piece, I can't tell, let's count all down my butterflies. So that's one base piece, two, three base pieces. I must have picked my base piece. I'm going to guess I've picked it up and I'm going to put a label on and I'm going to go in for the doily. I'm not going to bother with bus ticket this time, but I'm going to grab, grab a random butterfly. Let's pick from underneath and hope I don't flip the others over. What's what's worse that's going to happen? If I do flip it over, I can just stick another butterfly on it, can't I? When I can see again. Stapler. Oh, wow, you did so well there, leaving stapler where you could find it. That didn't feel good. Oh, it's gone through. So that's two. Are you cooking with gas? Cooking with gas. What's that? One. Two. Three. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk putting my cluster down this time. So that's... I, I feel like I want to talk quiet because I'm blind. That's very strange. Let's rip some off roller tickets. I'll try and straighten it, but then I'll lose track of what's front and back, won't I? But it don't matter. Like I said, it don't matter. So I'll have them three there together while I grab some random paper. I've seen some really good ones. I've seen quite a few people do this. I've seen the Canny Crafter do it. I've obviously watched Louise and Pam. That feels really big. No, this is this could be a mistake, ripping them up and putting them all down where I can't see them. But you never know. That feels like some paper I've already used, so I'm going to try a different one. I don't want a big book page again. 
these are double sided ones I think aren't they so it doesn't matter if I that's the book page I'm sure it is I think I put too much book page in One, two, three, a ticket, a doily. I need a base one, don't I? One. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, that feels a lot bigger than bits of paper I've ripped. Oh, yeah, they are, aren't they? Can I really? Dare, dare I rip my bases down? There you go. Oh, it's sticky back. There we go. Uh, a butterfly. So they feel good. And yeah, I think I might just craft them dark all the time. I'm liking this. I'm very productive. There's no faffing, no procrastination. Just crack on. Is that three I've done? One, two. I've done three, haven't I? Is that one? Yeah, or is that a pile of buttons? That's three. We've done three, right? Two left. Two, that feels really big. Right, I need to rip bigger pieces of paper this time. I'm going to go back to how I did first one holding paper in my hand. So that's one. Two, is that a bit long? That's very long, isn't it? We do another one of each. I did have some already in pieces because I obviously had them in my scrap piles. So have another one. Oh, I've only put one punch one ticket, but can I punch a ticket without letting go of them? I'm scared to let go of them because I don't know where they'll be. I've put the camera a little bit higher up today as well. <laughs> Where did that go? I, I felt it hit my belly. Here it is. <laughs> it's, it's not. We've made a belly band. Now we have a belly ticket. Is that some other base piece in it? That's my ticket. I did use a double-sided. Um, have I put a ticket on this already? No. So let's have that, a label, should I say, and a doily, and a flutterby. And this is number four, done. I think I've got everything. There we go. So just one left, so that's my base piece. to put a ticket a bit further under yeah you know what I mean on a different layer fund it so then I'll put in the, I'll put a smaller bit of something on I think I don't even know if I'm getting the same colour thing oh that feels thick I've not used anything thick out of that one so I'll pop a bit of that on. What have I done with my ticket roll? Oh, it's I've actually put it in the right place. This could teach me to craft tidy. Have I got a doily on yet? I'll stick a doily on. So this one's got everything on it. So the finale has got a, well, that. I could have dropped it and it could have gone upside down. I don't even know if these... Flutterbys are out of shot. Ah, if I'd have been really canny, I could have uh, printed them out on some textured cardstock or paper that were only textured on one side. And I've done very well not to injure myself. Ooh, that staple didn't go in too good, I don't think. Oh, it has done. Right, I'm going to take my blindfold off here and see what I've done. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's awful, that. It's way too bright. 
Oh, glasses, Rachie, glasses. I can't see a thing. Ooh, right, let's have a good look. Ooh. These have come out absolutely lovely, but I have done cheaty ones. It's got to be said, mine have been a bit of a cheat, haven't they? Yeah, I've not used any glue, I've not done any stamping and I've not done any stenciling because to be quite honest, I probably would have had a nervous breakdown. So that's my cheaty version of Pam and Louisa's. Oh, my butterflies, it's like I've just stapled his head there. But it'll stay together. I could cheat later and put another staple in. But do you know what? I'm, I really like that. I think, oh, I turned one over there. Oh well, don't matter, we've got a bit of white. So yeah, I might have another go at this. Speed clusters blindfolded might be a good one next. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you there. Have a go at it, but please have, <laughs> have adult supervision, yeah? Uh, just to make sure you don't come, come a cropper. We don't want you coming a cropper, do we? So thank you very much, Louisa and Pam. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye.